The FinSuite Cookie Consent Library comes with simple fade in and fade out effects applied to all of the components. However, we know how much the Webflow community loves interactions. That's why we enabled you to create your own in and out animations for all of the FinSuite Cookie Consent components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get this up and running in a few simple steps. We can animate any of our FinSuite Cookie Consent components. We can animate the banner, we can animate the manager and the preference pop-up. Now, in this case, I'm going to be animating the cookie banner component. So let's head over here to our symbols where I have the cookie banner and I'm going to make it visible so that I can see what I'm doing here. You do not apply an interaction on the cookie banner directly. What you do instead is you create a new div block which is going to hold the interaction. Now, on this div block, you have to apply the tap interaction. So we're gonna click here under interactions and we're gonna create a new mouse click tap interaction. And here on first click, this is going to be our animation when the cookie banner is coming in. And this is going to be our out animation when the cookie component is leaving the viewport. Now here we're gonna select start an animation and we're gonna start creating our animation. In this case I'll call it banner in so it's descriptive and we know what's going on. Then I'm gonna add an initial state here and initially I want this cookie banner to be hidden. So I'm gonna set the display value to none right over here. And also, and I'll set this uh, set initial state to true. Now, I'm also going to add another property here, which is the scale property. Now, this is not something that you have to do. This is something that I want to do because of the animation that I'm trying to build here. So you do not have to add this scale property over here. You can build any interaction you like. Here at the start, I'm going to set the display value to flex as it was before and right after that I'm gonna create I'm gonna add a scale property and a duration of 0 0.2 that's going to be eased and here I'm gonna write 1.1 so this cookie banner gets bigger than it usually is and then here at the end I wanna add another scale interaction and here this is going to be a little bit smaller, so this is going to bounce back. Let's set this to 0 0.95, and then at the end, I want to set a scale property of 1. Okay, and here I'm also going to add some easing, and here I'm going to add an ease out. Okay, and I have to adjust my time, so 0 0.2 or 0 0.15 maybe. Okay, let's see how this is looking. Okay, and I'm happy with how this is looking. So I'm gonna leave this as it is. I'm gonna hit save and I'm gonna build an out animation. So when the cookie banner is leaving the screen. So when the user clicks either accept or deny, I want this to happen. So I'm gonna click here under custom animation and I'm gonna create a new animation. I'm gonna call it banner out. With this animation, I want to do the opposite. So with the banner in animation, we had the element expand and right here, I want it to contract. So here's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to set the scale property to one and I'm going to set the duration to zero because this is our initial state before it contracts. Then the next thing I want to do is I want to add another scale transform here and I'm going to set this to 1.05. So I want it to expand. And here I'm going to set this to all elements with this class. Okay. And the reason why I'm making it expand before it contracts is because anticipation adds more interest. It looks more realistic. Okay. And here I'm going to set the duration to 0 0.15. And 
I'm going to make it contract with the same duration. So I'm going to set here a scale of zero and a duration of zero. Uh, sorry, of 0 0.2. Okay. And at the end, I want to hide the element. So I'm going to choose the show hide display property here and I'm going to hide it. All right. Let's see how this is looking. Okay, looking good. And here I could also add an ease property. So, like this. Okay. I'm happy with how this is looking. And now we have to add a few more things. So, with this interaction trigger, first we have to give it a unique class. So, I'm going to call it interaction trigger banner. Okay. And what we have to do with this is we have to set it to display none. Then I'm going to add an attribute to this element of FSCC interaction. What this does is it signals to our FinSuite cookie consent script that this is the interaction trigger or the interaction holder. And then we had to head over here again to our interactions and we need to make sure that the trigger is the elements class, not the element itself. This is very important. If you don't select the class, your animation will not work. So then the last thing, of course, if you wanted to, you could hide this element so it's not bothering you in the designer. You can set it to hide and we can publish our site. As we can see here, we're having this nice animation at the start. And then if we click any of the buttons on the cookie consent, we have the out animation here. I hope you found value in this video. And if you did, hit that subscribe button so that we can notify you when we make a new video. Also, I can't wait to see all of your dope projects and interactions that you're going to build with our library. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Check out more FinSuite videos to keep learning Webflow.